what is not that serious, but can still ruin your day. Hey, when you get in, let me know, we need to talk, we need to talk, those two, one variation for work and the other for personal, are the worst. There's no context, no stated reason for needing to talk. Only dread. You ever been craving something and postpone it for a certain day, and then when it's that day something happens and you don't get to eat that. Day ruined. Having to get gas before work. Accidentally biting the inside of your cheek hard when chewing your food. Missing your alarm. Getting in the most comfy position in my bed, but the sudden urge to pee arises. Random minor mood swing. Forgetting what you remember and then remembering what you forgot. Wet socks. Not finishing a good dream. Not having enough time to get ready and having to go out in something you're slightly uncomfortable in. When you've already left the house for the day and realize you are wearing undies that give you a wedgie. Dropping something or getting your earbuds caught on something and yanked out of your ear. A white head on the tippy tip of your nose. Thinking the to-go lid on your coffee is properly secured when it is not. Letting your toenails get just s-l-i-i-i-i-i-g-h-t-l-y too long. That one asshole that cuts you off in traffic when there's no one behind you. Fucked up dreams. I get into a serious funk maybe once every other month because of some vivid abomination I dreamt of often involving something that bothers me IRL. I know this isn't true for all people, but I know I'm not the only one. When someone takes my parking spot at work. It's not a big deal at all, but whenever it happens I feel like my day will suck. Being excited and extremely happy about something and then telling somebody, only to be met with either a disappointing reaction or even being told that what you're excited about is, childish, silly, not interesting. Happened way too often to me so I don't share many things with others anymore. Having to go poop right after taking a shower. Forgetting my chapstick on a day I won't be home for a while. For me, it's that moment you drop a spoon or something, physics breaks, and it just bounces off every single surface on its way down making as much noise as a spoon-like object could possibly make. It just feels like it takes forever to finally stop moving. I dunno, drives me batshit. When you hit any part of your body on an inanimate object. God, I just get so mad at the object, myself. Starting my period. Hemorrhoids. My dryer not drying my clothes all the way before work in the winter. Asterisk asterisk when you start running out of hot water halfway through your shower. Asterisk asterisk. Waking up with a crick in my neck. Forget just ruining the day, that shit can last for days. When it feels like it's going to rain and even looks like it and then it goes away and gets warm and sunny. Having a coin or pebble get into your shoe and not being able to get it out right away. Not being able to sleep the night before. Spilling coffee on yourself right after you get dressed. Cat puked on the carpet. You open a weird book and unleash a demon older than the world, and the cafeteria is out of a lot of stuff. Taking a shit and you have to finish ASAP because you're getting late and the first half an hour isn't very pleasant feeling. Imposter syndrome plus insomnia edit. D-A-A-A-M-N. I had no idea how bad this was and how many suffered from this too. I thought I was being silly hence why I classified it as non-serious. I'm incredibly isolated and living with a confident successful partner, so I've been battling this every day on my own. I'm so sorry. I really really relate to you all. Been bullied when I was young and worked really hard to a pretty successful life, with a successful job. Dot but I still believe I've, gotten away, with it and that it's all luck. Fuck imposter syndrome, I hate it. Spilling my coffee. Realizing there is no milk in the fridge. Food I had left at home that I was looking forward to eating after a long day at work being guzzled down by a family member. What even, asterisk is asterisk serious. My kid decided that she wasn't going to flush the toilet after five pees. Unfortunately, she used like a hundred sheets of toilet paper per pee, 
and decided to try and powerbomb all those pee-covered shit tickets down the toilet in one go. Naturally, the toilet overflowed and water spilled all over the floor, and then suddenly we're in the living room and a mix of urine and water is raining down from our light fixtures and water spots are starting to show up all over the ceiling. Being late to anything. Staining your favorite shirt. Forgetting your mobile phone back home. Losing it would be serious. Putting a sock on inside out and not having a chance to fix it for hours. Stepping in a puddle and getting your socks wet. Group of teenagers looking my direction. Catching my toe on the coffee table. Heartburn. When someone parks in my parking spot. They're not assigned or anything, so it isn't really my spot, but I've been parking there for 10 years. Headache. Planter's fasciitis. Flat tire. Sleeping on my neck wrong. Forgetting a piece of clothes when I go to take a shower and not realizing it till I've already showered. Realizing 10 minutes after you get to work that the reason those shoes were in the back of the closet is because they're uncomfortable AF. Wash my hands and have an urge to pee two seconds later. Leg cramps while driving. Gas. It's going to sound stupid, but back before the times of all online schooling, social distanced SX hooling, someone taking your seat in class. Doesn't matter if it was high school or college I would get very put off from not being in my seat in class. I was told once it's probably connected to anxiety or something but EHH. Your colleagues putting the office radio on a very bad station. Stepping in dog shit. One wet sock. A bad hangover. Messing up your morning coffee tea. Rain equals bad hair day. When you're trying to show someone something and at that very moment, whatever you're trying to show them is fine isn't working and you look dumb. Waking up to the wet choking sound of your cat or dog puking on carpet, with just enough time to hear it happening but not enough to prevent it pensive face. Your socks getting slightly wet. I keep an extra pair in my car for exactly that reason. Talking to me in the morning in general, especially if someone's telling me to do stuff right after I woke up face with rolling eyes. Arguing with a six years old. Steve Harvey. Running out of hot sauce. A mosquito the previous night. A sty on your eyelid. A sinus headache. It's not bad enough not to go to work, but hurts every time you exert yourself. Sore back. Makes everything feel off. Forgetting to put on deodorant. Oversleeping just enough that I don't have time to do my hair so I have to wear a ponytail, but I don't want to wear a ponytail that day. Having a cold sore in the scabbing stage so that when you smile it cracks. Awful. Being removed from a Facebook, WhatsApp group. I explain myself a thousand times it's something so stupid, but my ego is like, how dare they remove me? Being uncomfortable in your clothing. I have literally sat in my closed door office in my underwear before. Wrong coffee order. It kills me for the day. I know it's not a big deal and I can't get mad at a little mistake but fuck, not my coffee. A speeding ticket. Dropping a piece of food. Waiting in a long line at a food spot for a certain meal and when you get to the front they say they're out of that. Accidentally hurting my cat. The underwire of your bra snapping in the middle of the day. Urine dribble. Checking my email to find absolutely nothing interesting or worthwhile. Coffee that isn't flavorful. When you're jumping on the trampoline and decide to let the dog on but his nails just cut the trampoline causing it to break and both of you fall through. Having to leave the house. Seeing your ex. Dead car battery. Breaking a fingernail, far away and hours from being near nail clippers. Burning the roof of your mouth or tongue. When your so wakes up and starts getting frisky but then checks the time and says, let's do it tonight. I'd say rude customers. Being on hold with customer service for over an hour and then getting hung up on. 
getting a stuffed snotty ass nose bad internet missing my lunch pooping your pants a headache one pimple in a very noticeable place twitching eyelid so annoying forgetting your headphones allergies for me it's wife talking about planning things before my first cup of coffee when you notice that when you tap your screen you feel your fingernails being a little longer than you want assholes inconsiderate assholes i work in retail so it's my job to help people and make their experience as lovely as i possibly can but then you get the ones that nothing is good enough and my god that ruins your day Side note, we defo go and have a right old laugh about how much of a tit you were. Dog crapping on the carpet just as I need to leave for work. Minor power outage, one day and night. Parking tickets. Stepping in dog shit. Your parents screaming at you. Getting a flat tire. If you know what you're doing you can have it fixed and be in your way in 10 minutes, but now your day is ruined, your mood sucks, and you're going to probably have to pay for a new tire. When the shower water is just barely not hot enough but turning the dial makes it to hot. When someone is trying to talk to me while I'm listening to music. Worst thing that can humanly happen, dropping your dinner on the floor.